girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show, the NXT TakeOver Respect Preview. Um, it's TakeOver Show coming to you live on the network, I believe it's Thursday, Wednesday, whatever day it is, the 7th. Um, card actually looked pretty good. I know it's kind of the, the semifinals and the finals of the Dusty Rose Memorial Tag Team Trophy Tournament. Uh, which is kind of a neat tribute to the uh, American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, the son of a plumber. Um, you know, Dusty obviously being missed. Everything he did for NXT, everything he's done for pro wrestling, everything he did as an announcer. Um, these teams, some of these, couple of these teams, are just kind of like boop, thrown together. Um, I have kind of an idea what I think is going to happen. So obviously, if you've seen my show before, you know sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm not. But if I was booking it, this is what I would do. Um, it's kind of hard to kind of... A lot of WWE stuff here lately has been just... <laughs> you know, regurgitated garbage. Um, you know, as you've seen the uh, live Madison Square Garden special, uh, it wasn't even worth doing a review for, so I just took the results up. Um, which is kind of how I'm going to be doing it from now on. If I think the show was worth a review, I'll do a review. If I think I just want to get the results out there because I did a preview, that's what I'm going to do is kind of throw the results up and just say, here you go, that's what happened. Um, so obviously if you see results, it means I didn't think the show was good enough to, to justify a review. Otherwise, they'll say review and it'll be me talking about what I've seen. So a preview in this show, uh, first we get the two semifinal matches. We have the team of Finn Balor, the NXT Champion versus Samoa Joe. Or, Finn Balor and Samoa Joe versus the Mechanics, Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder. Don't really know much about that team. Um, kind of looks like a young upstart team. Maybe they'll go somewhere where they won't. I do have Balor and Samoa Joe winning that. Next, we have the team of Jason Jordan and Chris Gamble versus uh, Baron Corbin and Rhino. Another one of those kind of thrown together teams. Uh, not a bad team. You got Baron Corbin, kind of the. I don't know if he's the future, but he's one of those guys who will eventually make the WWE roster. Kind of a, he's a guy. Uh, he ain't anybody special. I mean, th I think he'll do good. I think he's kind of the you know mid card kind of guy that you kind of need out there. Uh, Rhino obviously will never go away. Uh, been around forever. Um, God, uh, where hasn't Rhino wrestled? ECW, uh, TNA, WWE, NXT. Florida FCW, I mean, he's been everywhere, around the world. Um, seen him at TNA, Hard Justice, you know, a number of years ago, versus uh, James Storm, you know. My uh, Hard Justice 08 moment, um, Barroom Brawl, Rhino, James Storm. I patted Rhino in the back. I'm in the video, I'm in the show. I mean, Jay Manor. Uh, but yeah, Rhino's been around forever and a day. I had Jason Jordan and Chris Gamble one in this. Um, next on the car we have Apollo Crews in his second uh, the NXT uh, TakeOver Showtime match versus Tyler Breeze. Um, I really like what I've seen so far with Apollo Crews. I really want to see him in there with a guy like a Tyler Breeze, with a Baron Corbin, and then actually maybe a Samoa Joe or Finn Balor. Let him kind of, you know, do more and see what this guy is. Uh, so far, the first the NXT TakeOver show I watched, I really liked him, his debut, short, sweet, to the point. I want to see more. I, I, want, I want you to tell me who Apollo Crews is. I want to be able to either like him or hate him. Um, so I got him winning that. And then we have uh, Dana Brooke versus Eska, Eska, whatever you want, how you pronounce it. I'm horrible at pronouncing names. The uh, Japanese uh, female wrestler signed with NXT. I got her winning this. Um, I just think her debut in NXT, she should definitely get the win against Dana Brooke. Then we have the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Trophy Tournament. I have NXT Champion Finn Balor teaming up with Samoa Joe versus Jason Jordan and Chris Gamble. I've uh, been reading some things online. They want to turn Finn Balor heel. Uh, uh, okay, I'm good. Best way to do it, he's tagging with Samoa Joe. Everybody will get behind Samoa Joe because he is Samoa Joe. Have Alan turn on him. Have him just turn on him in this match and walk away. And let uh, Jordan Gamble win. Let them move on to the tag title tag titles in NXT. Feud Samoa Joe and Finn Balor for the NXT world title. Ding! 
So I like to see. I like to really like to see a Finn Balor heel turn here on Samoa Joe, uh, or even a Joe heel turn and just turn Joe heel and just have a fucking annihilate Balor and then move on. But I look at some something fishy going on with this, and then Jordan and Gamble getting the win, hopefully getting a big push in NXT, and the main event, the match that everyone's looking forward to, including myself, the NXT Women's Title in a 30 minute 30 minute Iron Woman match. The first ever Iron Woman match in WWE, WCW, TNA. From what I've seen, Ring of Honor, CCW history. I've not. I've, I've been looking online for it. Have not found another women's Iron, an Iron Woman match. Thirty minutes of Bailey and Sasha Banks. Hubboom! That is what the show is about, right there. The respect that these two ladies have for each other, the ability these two ladies have in the ring. Based on the Brooklyn Takeover show, this match will be phenomenal. This will be, if not the women's match of the year, strong top three. <laughs> um, just the, what the Divas women have done, wrestler, you know, female wrestlers in NXT have done. The Charlottes, Sasha Banks, the Becky Lynch, Paige when she was there. Um, Bailey, just every one of these ladies and the ones that have moved to the main roster, you know, Charlotte and Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks on the main roster with the Paige, with the Bellas. Now you got Bailey taking over in NXT, still feuding with Sasha Banks. Th this match is just going to be off the chart. If you've not seen an NXT women's match, watch this match. Plain and simple. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's just go it's going to be maybe a match of the year candidate. Um, I'm actually looking at doing a Roberts 10 women's matches of the year. That's what these NXT ladies have done. You can come out with 10 matches these ladies have done over four stars. That's what's going to be amazing about this. So I got Bailey winning it in 30 minutes. I uh, don't know how many falls. Uh, my guess is like a 3-2 type thing. Uh, it'd be cool if it was 1-0 and Bailey one fall at the end. Or you can go to overtime with them, you know. But something cool like that would be cool. But there's only been nine. Iron, Iron Man matches in WWE history. This is the first Iron Woman match. So, looking forward to that. So, that will wrap up the NXT TakeOver Respect Show. Um, it's Wednesday night. Not 100% sure if I'll be able to watch it Wednesday night. But definitely I'll get it watched before Friday. Probably Thursday morning, Thursday night I'll finish it. And get a show up probably Friday. It's a couple days after, but I'll get a review up. What I think happened. What I... What happened? See how accurate I was. So uh, stay tuned to all five Robert Sports Show channels. A lot of videos coming this week. A lot of work doing. Look at some Robert's Tens coming up. I have a Robert's Ten Undertaker matches of all time, and I have a Robert's Ten Hell in a Cell matches. Uh, obviously, the prelude to Brock Lesnar versus Undertaker at Hell in the Cell. So stay tuned for those, and make sure you check those out. So as always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show, and have a Spiffy Knight, Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channels. Go! If you close your eyes, your life and make me truth revealed. Since you never lived, this scars never healed. In the darkness, light will take you to the other side.